talk, give him them arguments, finally let me go. But when I talk my friend... The TV series showcased captivating mysteries that kept viewers on the edge of their seats. James Garner's portrayal of Jim Rockford added a perfect blend of wit and charm to each investigation. The show's abrupt ending left fans shocked and disappointed as unresolved storylines hung in the balance. Despite this, The Rockford Files remains a beloved classic in detective television history. I mean, I mean both sides are looking for a piece of this slinko. Now, I don't know how much longer I can let you stay here. Well, we've only been here 12 hours. It's the latest edition. Uh Stephen Cannell had a growing career when he co-created the show. He had already gained recognition for his work on Chase, and later found greater success with series like The A-Team and 21 Jump Street. His storytelling abilities and knack for creating compelling characters contributed significantly to the appeal of the TV series. Meanwhile, Roy Huggins, the other co-creator, brought valuable experience to the project. He had previously worked with James Garner on the popular series Maverick, and was also the creative mind behind the iconic show The Fugitive. Their combined talents helped shape the unique blend of drama, humor, and action that defined the series. The partnership between Canal and Huggins allowed for the exploration of intriguing storylines, featuring an ex-con private investigator who tackled various cases with wit and resourcefulness. This classic has left a lasting impression on television history, showcasing the strengths of its creators and the lasting appeal of its characters and narratives. This guy Bloomberg wanted you to get word to the outside about his problem. Right, to Congressman Alan Brody of the House Subcommittee on Intel. The Rockford Files distinguished itself from other detective shows by eschewing genre cliches. It emphasized less violent solutions and portrayed its protagonist, Jim Rockford, as a relatable everyman with flaws and a penchant for avoiding physical confrontation. This approach set the show apart from the typical tough guy private eye characters of the era, bringing a refreshing and more human perspective to the world of detective series. Throughout its run, The Rockford Files captivated audiences with its unique blend of humor, wit, and clever storytelling, making it a standout in the realm of classic television. The show's success can be attributed not only to its innovative take on the detective genre, but also to the stellar performance of James Garner in the role of Jim Rockford. Garner's charismatic portrayal of the laid-back yet resourceful private investigator struck a chord with viewers, solidifying Rockford as a beloved TV character. The chemistry between Garner and the supporting cast further enriched the show, creating a dynamic and engaging ensemble that kept audiences coming back for more. In addition to its character-driven storytelling, The Rockford Files also featured intricate plots that kept viewers on the edge of their seats. Each episode was crafted with care, blending mystery, humor, and drama in a way that kept the audience guessing until the very end. The show's trademark style of storytelling, combined with its memorable characters and smart dialogue, contributed to its enduring popularity and critical acclaim. Even beyond its original airing, The Rockford Files continues to be celebrated for its influence on the detective genre and television as a whole. Its legacy lives on in the hearts of fans who fondly remember the show's wit, charm, and unique approach to storytelling. As one of the standout series of its time, the Rockford Files remains a classic example of how innovation and authenticity can elevate a television show to greatness. Uh, I met King Sturdivant last night. He's a, quite a handful. Wait till I tell you. Jim Rockford, played by James Garner, was crafted as an anti-hero and was a stark contrast to characters like James Bond. Rockford was often financially strapped and clumsy in fights, bringing humor and realism to the role. Garner's portrayal of Rockford captivated audiences with the character's charm and wit, making The Rockford Files a beloved classic in television history. The show's blend of crime-solving and character-driven storytelling endeared Rockford to viewers, showcasing a different kind of hero who relied on his wits rather than brute force. With its engaging plots and memorable characters, The Rockford Files remains a timeless favorite for fans of classic television. The little antique Derringer Marissa gave me for Valentine's Day. Janique wanted to wear it to the Grand. Roy Huggins crafted a unique character in Jim Rockford. Drawing from his earlier creation, Brett Maverick, both characters share a charm that defies the conventional hero mold. Jim Rockford stands out in the crowded world of detective television by not fitting the tough guy stereotype. Unlike many detectives who rely on guns and aggressive tactics, Rockford approaches crime solving with a laid back demeanor and a clever sense of humor. This choice reflects Huggins' desire to present a character who resonates with viewers through realism and relatability. 
The show emphasizes intelligence over brute force, with Rockford often using his wits to navigate tricky situations. He is depicted as a private investigator who often finds himself in challenging circumstances but relies on his charm and resourcefulness rather than violence. His adventures are marked by a blend of drama and comedy, allowing audiences to connect with him on a deeper level. Huggins' vision helped redefine the detective genre, proving that humor and a non-traditional approach could create memorable characters that endure in the hearts of fans. The characters' complexities brought freshness to the screen, making it a beloved series for years. Benny, you don't know how to sit on a rabbit hole. I'm sitting in front of this dog food. The show featured several unique elements that set it apart from other series of its time. One of the most iconic aspects was the use of answering machine introductions. Each episode began with a message left for the main character, Jim Rockford, often setting the tone for the story. This creative choice engaged viewers immediately, drawing them into the narrative. Additionally, the blend of comedic elements within the scripts added a refreshing touch to the crime drama. The characters often found themselves in humorous situations, allowing audiences to connect with them on a personal level. Another standout feature was the memorable theme song, which resonated with viewers and became synonymous with the show. Its catchy tune was instantly recognizable, enhancing the overall viewing experience. These innovations contributed significantly to the show's popularity and helped secure its status as one of the top TV shows during its era. The combination of these elements made the series both entertaining and relatable. Hey, the three of them. You didn't know that? Of course I knew that. James Garner's commitment to performing his own stunts brought a unique authenticity to the action scenes in the show. This dedication showcased his talent and ability to connect with the character of Jim Rockford. Despite facing personal injuries and health issues over the years, he pushed through, believing that the physicality of his performance added depth to the narrative. Garner's willingness to take on such risks endeared him to audiences, making the action feel more genuine. However, this relentless pursuit of realism came at a cost. The toll on his health became evident as the series progressed, leading to difficulties that ultimately influenced his decision to exit the show. His legacy as an actor who embodied his character in such a visceral way remains a hallmark of the series, even as he faced the consequences of his commitment. But our women, and a few camels, family, you're not a... The supporting cast and guest stars in the show brought an exciting dynamic that enriched the storytelling. With a blend of established actors from other popular series, the interactions among characters created memorable moments that captivated audiences. These guest appearances often added depth to the plots and showcased a range of performances, making each episode unique. Despite the show's critical acclaim and strong following, it faced significant financial hurdles. High production costs placed a strain on the budget, leading to difficult decisions. The situation became more challenging when the lead actor faced health problems, which ultimately resulted in his departure. This left the series vulnerable, and the combination of these financial and production challenges led to its cancellation. The legacy of the show remained strong, showcasing both its engaging characters and the behind-the-scenes difficulties that shaped its fate. Well, he, uh... Following the end of The Rockford Files, the TV series was rejuvenated through a series of TV movies in the 1990s. These films aim to preserve the essence of the original show, while adapting it to a modern setting, including acknowledging the protagonist's aging. The revival sought to captivate both loyal fans and new audiences by blending nostalgic elements with contemporary themes, ensuring the enduring appeal of this classic. Don't really matter much if you are a coyote. They're gonna run you right up that ramp and chop you up for t The return of the series in movie form provided a sense of closure for fans who had followed the adventures of the private investigator, Jim Rockford. In revisiting the characters, the film embraced a more subdued and reflective tone, acknowledging the passage of time since the original episodes aired. Viewers witnessed how the lives of their favorite characters had evolved, with changes reflecting the realities of aging and personal growth. This approach allowed for a deeper exploration of themes such as friendship, regret, and the pursuit of justice, offering a poignant contrast to the more light-hearted escapades of the original show. The film captured the essence of the classic while delivering a narrative that resonated with the audience's nostalgia. Fans appreciated the familiar dynamics 
Yet the film also introduced a sense of maturity that reflected the years gone by. The combination of familiar faces and new challenges created a rich tapestry that honored the legacy of the original series. As viewers tuned in, they found themselves revisiting old haunts and remembering why they fell in love with the show in the first place. All while recognizing that time changes everything. You will keep. I made sure. It's got initials. Okay. Open it up. Oh. The Rockford Files, a popular 1974 TV series, received significant praise during its time and left a lasting impact on popular culture. This classic show, featuring James Garner as Jim Rockford, a private investigator with a laid-back style, captivated audiences with its combination of mystery, humor, and memorable characters. The show's legacy can be seen in the numerous spin-offs and adaptations that followed, including TV movies and a short-lived revival. Its influence extended beyond television, leading to the creation of merchandise such as novels, comic books, and even a board game. The Rockford Files continues to be celebrated for its unique blend of action and wit, making it a timeless favorite among fans of crime dramas and detective stories. The way you did. I guess they uh, keep you pretty tranked up, huh? Let's dive into the casting process for the 1974 TV series The Rockford Files and how each key actor was chosen for their role. The lead role of Jim Rockford was a pivotal one, with James Garner ultimately landing the part after showcasing his charm and wit during auditions. His chemistry with the other actors was palpable from the start. For the role of Rocky, Jim's father, Noah Beery Jr. stood out with his warm presence and natural ability to embody the wisdom and love the character required. His audition left no doubt about his perfect fit for the role. Gretchen Corbett was chosen to play the role of Beth Davenport, Jim's lawyer and romantic interest. Her audition displayed the professionalism and intelligence that the character demanded, solidifying her place in the cast. Another significant role was that of Angel Martin, played by Stuart Margolin. Margolin's audition showcased his comedic timing and ability to bring depth to the character, making him a clear choice for the role. The final key actor to be cast was Joe Santos, who portrayed Dennis Becker, Jim's friend in the LAPD. Santos' audition highlighted his ability to balance the seriousness of his character with moments of humor, adding a dynamic element to the ensemble cast. Throughout the casting process, each actor's performance not only showcased their individual talents, but also highlighted the chemistry between the core cast members, setting the stage for the successful collaboration that would define the series. Out of here, he could get cute. What else can we do? The director of The Rockford Files brought a unique vision to the series, blending elements of drama, humor, and action. With a focus on realism, he aimed to create a relatable detective story that stood apart from other shows of the time. Influenced by classic film noir and contemporary crime dramas, he infused the narrative with a gritty authenticity. The director emphasized character development allowing the audience to connect deeply with Jim Rockford, played by James Garner. His style included long takes and naturalistic dialogue, giving the show a conversational tone. Collaborating closely with the cast, he fostered a relaxed atmosphere on set, encouraging improvisation to enhance the authenticity of interactions. The director also worked with the crew to capture the vibrant Los Angeles setting, using locations that added to the story's depth. This attention to detail, combined with a focus on character-driven plots, helped The Rockford Files become a beloved classic, resonating with viewers and influencing future detective shows. First time, I'm not gonna go through it again. Unless, Lieutenant, you'd like to start filing the proper papers. The production of the 1974 TV series The Rockford Files involved meticulous set design and scouting for unique locations. Logistical challenges such as coordinating schedules and managing equipment were part of the filming process. Innovative techniques like handheld cameras for a more dynamic feel and on-location shooting added realism to the show. Well, congratulations, you made it. Well, what was I supposed to do, Dennis? I couldn't shake him. Now, this is a second attempt on Beth's life. The musical score and soundtrack of the 1974 TV series The Rockford Files were carefully crafted to enhance the narrative and emotional tone of the show. Composers such as Mike Post and Pete Carpenter worked on creating music that perfectly complemented the on-screen action and dialogue. The jazzy and upbeat theme music served to reflect the laid-back and investigative nature of the main character, Jim Rockford, played by James Garner. 
musicians involved in the creation of the soundtrack brought their expertise to ensure that each scene was underscored by music that heightened the drama or added a touch of levity when needed. The music in the Rockford Files played a crucial role in immersing viewers in the world of the show, making it a memorable aspect of the overall viewing experience. No. No, I got... One of the most iconic scenes in the Rockford Files from 1974 is the opening credits sequence. The director James Garner wanted to create a visually dynamic intro that would immediately grab the audience's attention. The sequence featured shots of Jim Rockford driving his gold Pontiac Firebird along the coastline, capturing the essence of his laid-back yet adventurous lifestyle. The cinematography by William Cronjager beautifully showcased the California landscape, setting the tone for the series. Another memorable scene is when Jim Rockford confronts a suspect at a construction site. The director, Jackie Cooper, wanted to emphasize the tension and danger of the moment. James Garner's performance as Rockford was intense yet controlled, showcasing his character's resourcefulness and quick thinking. The cinematography by Irving Littman captured the gritty atmosphere of the scene, adding to the suspense and excitement for the audience. In a pivotal scene where Rockford solves a complex case, the director, Lawrence Dehenny, focused on building suspense and mystery. James Garner's performance as Rockford was nuanced and captivating, drawing the audience in as he unraveled the clues. The cinematography by Harry L. Wolf added to the intrigue with clever camera angles and lighting enhancing the drama of the moment. Overall, these iconic scenes from the Rockford Files in 1974 showcase the talent of the filmmakers and actors involved leaving a lasting impact on audiences with their compelling storytelling, strong performances, and visually striking cinematography. Hello, this is Jim Rockford. Yes, sir, we have your party on the line. Now the Rockford Files became a beloved series in the 1970s, resonating deeply with audiences through its mix of drama and humor. Viewers connected with Jim Rockford, a private investigator who faced challenges that felt relatable and grounded. His character represented the everyman, often struggling against the odds, which reflected the broader societal sentiments of the time. The show tackled issues such as crime, corruption, and justice, prompting viewers to think critically about these themes. As Rockford navigated a world filled with flawed systems, he highlighted the importance of personal integrity and perseverance. This portrayal influenced pop culture by setting a standard for future detective shows. The laid-back style and witty dialogue created a blueprint that many series followed. Beyond entertainment, the show sparked discussions on moral ambiguity and the complexities of the legal system, resonating with an audience eager for more realistic representations in media. The Rockford Files also made an impact through its diverse cast and storylines, which addressed various social issues, including economic struggles and the search for identity. Its legacy continues to be felt as it paved the way for a more nuanced approach to storytelling in television. The show's influence can be seen in the way it blended humor with serious topics, engaging viewers on multiple levels. This ability to entertain while provoking thought helped it remain relevant long after its original run. Rockford, would you tell Dennis to call me when he gets back? Yeah, uh, Charlie, did those trucks ever... Upon its debut in 1974, the Rockford Files quickly gained acclaim for its fresh take on the private detective genre. The show's critical reception was notably positive, with many reviewers praising its blend of humor, character depth, and realistic storytelling. James Garner, who portrayed the titular character, Jim Rockford, was particularly lauded for his performance. Critics highlighted Garner's charm and the show's unique approach, which balanced detective work with personal drama. Audience reactions were equally favorable, with viewers drawn to the show's relatable protagonists and its engaging storylines. The series won an Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series for Garner in 1977, cementing his reputation as a top actor in television. Additionally, The Rockford Files received nominations for several other awards throughout its run, reflecting its overall success and the high regard in which it was held by both critics and audiences. The accolades underscored the show's impact and contributed to the enduring legacy of its cast and creators. Whatever's fair. How much? During the making of the Rockford Files, many stories emerged from the set that revealed the camaraderie among the cast and crew. James Garner, who played Jim Rockford, was known for his quick wit and humor. One day, during a scene where he had to jump into a car, he miscalculated and landed awkwardly. 
Instead of getting upset, he joked about being too old for such stunts, and made the crew laugh, easing the tension on set. The crew often pulled pranks on each other. During one filming break, a crew member hid Garner's beloved baseball cap. When Garner discovered it missing, he turned the search into a mini-investigation, playfully interrogating the crew. This light-hearted atmosphere helped everyone stay focused while enjoying the work. Meanwhile, the on-location shoots in Los Angeles attracted curious onlookers. Sometimes fans would interrupt filming, leading to funny interactions. Garner would often pause to sign autographs, turning interruptions into opportunities for friendly exchanges. These moments helped foster a sense of community around the show, making the production feel like a family affair. The bond among the cast and crew shaped the series, leaving a lasting legacy that fans still appreciate today. Woman, there were Rockies. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, hey, the Kelvin meter. Uh, we might as well go out and get... The Rockford Files, a 1974 TV series, holds a significant place in film history due to its innovative storytelling and character development. Its impact on future filmmaking can be seen in the way it portrayed a flawed but lovable protagonist, influencing the creation of many complex characters in later works. The show's blend of humor and drama set a standard for television crime dramas that followed, inspiring a new wave of storytelling in the genre. Its legacy lives on in the realm of detective shows, and continues to influence filmmakers and writers today. He steps in and helps the poor guy out by uh, buying it up at a bargain rate, huh? Watching The Rockford Files brings back memories for many fans. This show captured the essence of the 1970s with its mix of drama and humor, focusing on Jim Rockford, a private investigator who tackled cases in a unique way. The character's charm and resilience resonated with viewers making them feel connected to his struggles and triumphs. Many people found inspiration in Jim's approach to solving problems, which often reflected real-life challenges. The show's clever writing and engaging plots made it a staple of American television, influencing how crime stories were told. Viewers often share how the series impacted their views on justice, morality, and personal integrity. For some, it sparked an interest in detective work or storytelling, while for others, it provided comfort during tough times. Hearing your experiences and memories can spark conversations about how this iconic show shaped our understanding of cinema and television. We invite you to share your thoughts, stories, and favorite episodes. Engage with us by liking, sharing, and subscribing for more explorations into the world of cinema. Your insights can help keep the legacy of the Rockford Files alive, inspiring new generations of viewers. I will never forget the story that we cooked up when we called on the radio.